Hi there, welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we are going to look at the last ClickSense function. So last ClickSense function is used in the pivot table for picking up the last column value or based on the offset value that you are providing let's say 2 then the second last 3 then the third last value. So let's see how we can do this. So in the measures you need to say last and sum of sales that's the minimum we need to provide and now what do we have over here if i click done this is our last column and based on the last function we have the last column value here last column value here which is this value and then this value here last value here and over here now suppose your small business is your baseline through which you need to compare the rest of the categories then you can use the last function or let's say you have q1 q2 q3 and q4 value and q4 is your baseline then you can take the q4 value in rest of the columns and do the ratio or do the comparison or the calculation that you have in the hand now apart from this not only the last column but let's say second last column is your interest area then in that case you expand this last column expression go in the expression editor after the sum of sales say comma 2 okay and click apply so if i click on done you will see that home office value which is this value become the last second last value which actually it is in the pivot table so over here you have this last value last value over here is similar to this similarly for corporate you have home office value consumer you have home office value so that's mainly what it does is based on the offset position you provide if you don't provide if it will pick the last value if you provide offset value let's say two then the second last value which is home office and the third thing is that let's say you want the average of last two columns right so for some reasons uh, you have uh, you want to create a calculation where the last two column values reflect the average of the uh, average as a baseline then you can come over here and uh, come over here and say comma one comma two comma one means the last column because if you don't specify anything one is by default so last column and this basically says not only the last column but the second last column and take an average of that and to take an average we will have to use the range average function click apply and done so this value now this value which is coming here 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 and here is basically the average of this and this so if this is 896,000 and this is 1.2 mil so what you get is an average of 1.09 mil so this is what you get for the rest of the column as well as a baseline by which you can do the calculation like ratio analysis or any other calculation that you want to do as a baseline of this number so that's about it and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic